interspersed among the flat landscapes and open prairies of the Great Plains are true wonders of nature. For this journey of sentimental serenity, we explore the natural grandeur within the grasslands across the Great Plains. We begin our journey at Badlands National Park in South Dakota. These distinctive formations were created by geologic cycles of deposits and erosion over millions of years. The land was once a prehistoric sea. The Luss Hills are located east of the Missouri River in Iowa. They date to the last ice age, when the wind blew fine silt to where it formed dunes on the eastern banks of what is now the Missouri River. In South Dakota's Black Hills, we visit Custer State Park, a scenic land and wildlife preserve. The Black Hills are actually part of a small mountain range. The Black Hills name is because of their dark appearance when seen from a distance. Monument Rocks in western Kansas stands out because these formations are surrounded by the flat land of the plains. Mushroom Rock State Park is another Kansas attraction, as is a destination called Rock City, where we see clusters of large boulders. Scott's Bluff National Monument in the Panhandle of Nebraska is named for a series of bluffs which rise above the North Platte River. A replica of a wagon train is located there, commemorating the era of Western migration. The Platte River is both scenic and shallow. The Platte is a great example of a braided river, which carries a lot of sediment. The Braided River contains a network of channels separated by sandbars and small islands. So vast is the region that it must have seemed endless to American pioneers headed west. Still, there is grand beauty in that which is the same and that which is unique in the Great Plains. Welcome to Journey 6 of Sentimental Serenity. <laughs> 